Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Mugglebees and welcome back to our channel. Today we're sharing with you all of our nostalgic Christmas traditions from when I was a little girl and my husband was a little boy back in the early 1980s. And wouldn't you know I saved all of my toys from when I was a little girl just so that I can share them with my young ones today. So this video is nearly 40 years in the making and I hope you enjoy it. Today's video is also a collaboration with a bunch of amazing women here on YouTube and we are all sharing homemaking tips and traditions for Christmas and this holiday season all day long. So I will have that playlist linked down below for you to check out their videos next. So let's start with one of my favorite Christmas cookies that I would traditionally only get on Christmas Eve, and that's the meringue dream cookie. I will have the full recipes for everything I show in this video linked down below, but I used to get this every Christmas Eve when we'd go over to my godmother's mother's home for a Christmas Eve party, and she always had those little tiny hot dogs in that sweet tangy sauce and these sweet white fluffy clouds filled with chocolate morsels and walnuts. I was usually the only small kid there, so it was really all about the food to avoid the boring adult conversation that would happen. So I would bounce back and forth between the little mini hot dogs and the dream cookie over at the food station. And of course, I would then stare out the big window where the Christmas tree was at, looking high into the sky, hoping to spot Santa. Up next is my grandpa Monty's famous fudge. And again, I will have this full recipe written in the description box down below. Now growing up, I always knew this as my Aunt Kathy's fudge since my grandfather passed before I was born. My Aunt Kathy would always be the one that would make it and bring it to our holiday events, usually Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it would be set out on the hors d'oeuvre table right next to the ruffles with the Lipton and sour cream dip. And of course we had a selection of peanuts and nuts for my Uncle Jim. Along with the holiday tin of cookies. Now the trick to making this fudge turn out just right is you have to heat it until it gets to the hardball stage. Now you can use a candy thermometer to tell you exactly when it gets to that temp, but back in the day, they would take a little bit of the mixture and drop it into a glass of cold water. And if the mixture formed a perfect ball, it was at the perfect temp to finish off the fudge. And let me tell you, the divine brown buttered sugary flavor of this fudge just made it absolutely irresistible. And we'd always sneak by that little table with the ruffles and the Lipton dip to sneak a little piece of fudge before we actually had dinner. Oh, the memory 
of Salto ornaments. I feel like if you know, you know, you know? So we had Salto ornaments growing up and of course my hippie parents made some really far out looking faces <laughs> to hang on our tree, but those faces have stuck with my memory and really lived on and become a comforting memory of Christmas as a child for me. And it's something that I've been thinking about, you know, with all of the holiday decor that I've acquired now as an adult and looking back at what I grew up with. And it's not necessarily all about the sparkliest, uh, most glamorous piece of on-theme holiday decor, but rather those funky tchotchke pieces that we grew up with in the 80s that really just bring us right back to that comfort of family and home and Christmas. David and I had so much fun creating these salt oak ornaments with the kids and we hope that they will have them for years to come and be able to look back at them with the same fond memories that we have of making them with our parents. It's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night once again, in the 80s, my family was all about the food, so how about some edible cranberry popcorn garland to round out our tree? Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want holiday with you tomorrow it is christmas the first for me and you i longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere just us and no one else i've decorated everything to be perfect for this week tomorrow Since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow. All these memories feel so much more tender this year since we're not seeing family, but we're determined to make the most of it and starting with our treats for Santa. So Santa gets cookies, but he also sometimes gets a ham sandwich. We always put out cheese for Santa Mouse and of course some carrots for Rudolph and a nice glass of milk to wash it all down. To have you for myself in a cabin out of
mistletoe While Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake And then we go skating on the frozen lake Saying hi to every friendly face And later we want 